Help is on the way for students who need it most as LA schools prepare for a partial reopening. CBS 2's Car Finstrom shows us the programs being launched. And I work in the medical field, so it's really hard to be able to work from home. Before heading into work, Monique Leon can now drop off her kids at one of LA City Rec and Park's new alternative learning centers. After temperature checks at the door, student Rudy Casio ushered in his little brother. They attended the pilot summer program. Amazing, honestly. It is one of probably one of the best programs that I've been to. Like, hey, how do I do this? But now at here, I can just go in, plug my computer in, sign into class. Check out what fellow student Darla Nelson is raving about. Students are given spaced out learning areas where they attend their online classes with free internet access and supervision. Free LAUSD meals are provided, as well as afternoon activities outdoors. The city council approved $30 million for the program, which is operating at 50 area parks in low-income communities. So it really gives an opportunity for working moms and working parents who are going through a very difficult time right now to have somewhere to be able to um, drop off their kids. Meanwhile, L.A. County has approved help for another group of students, special education students, English language learners, and students with individualized education plans will all be able to attend in-person education beginning September 14th. As long as the school is able to fully implement the health officer's reopening report protocol, this will get children who are in the most need in, of in-person learning back into the classrooms. That in-person instruction expected to look a little like what you just saw inside this learning center. The hope that if the first small groups of children with the greatest challenges are able to learn safely and well, more in-person learning will follow. From Van Nuys, Cara Finstrom, CBS2 News.